Hey guys, it's Corey with Redshirt Engineering, and today I wanted to answer a question that I've been asked many times, which is, can you use security cameras in a place that doesn't have electricity? Uh, and today we're going to take a little bit of a look. So, yes, you can. It's a little bit more difficult because you have to address a couple of things. First, how are you going to power the camera in the first place? You have solar, batteries, uh, that's pretty much your, your option, which is you have to have enough batteries to get through a day, uh, or a night at least, uh, and handle all of the equipment involved, and then you have to have sol enough solar panels that can recharge that battery during the day, even on the shortest days of the year with cloud cover, right? So, assuming you have that, uh, you have to think about two parts. You have to think about the camera itself, so like a, something like a Hanwha Tequin camera or an Axis camera, uh, something that's going to give you a view. Uh, is it going to be a fixed camera, PTZ, um, maybe a fisheye lens or 360 view? What's it, What do you need that for? Um, infrared, I highly recommend that you make sure you have infrared on it so you can see at night in the dark. Um, but so you're out in this area, you have a camera now that you put in, but how do you get to the camera and access the video if you're not there? Um, probably you're gonna wanna do a cellular modem in there. So those two things have to be in the box um, and, they, and your batteries have to be able to power all of that. So it's a little bit of a complicated system. Um, a lot of manufacturers have uh, cameras on the market now that have all of that built in. So I'd look around, uh, search Google a little bit for some, um, or you can build it yourself and I'd be happy to chat about that. So let me know uh, in the comments below if you have any questions or want me to do a video about how to build your own solar powered, um, self-sufficient, remotely accessible camera. That might be a thing that we do. Let me know in the comments. So again, this is Corey with Retro Engineering and you guys have a good one. Hey guys, uh, I was editing this clip and uh, I realized that I forgot to uh, mention a couple of new camera types that have um, batteries that are intended to last very long periods of time so that you could like go there once a year, for example, to charge the camera. Now, you're not going to get infrared with something like that uh, because the IR emitter is going to be what uses the most power. Um, and you have to be careful about outdoor uses because uh, any heater that's inside or, uh, is going to particularly use a lot of power as well. So they, they're going to want to avoid using those things and using chips that are uh, rated for wide ranges of temperature, for example. So just some extra thoughts that I had while I was editing. So see ya.